and they said that with the workload that would be lifted off of them, we shouldn't need the part, the part-time position. You know, it would be up to us if we used it or not, um, because they'll be doing the billing from April the fifteenth is the day we've got set to go live. Um, you don't you don't need to deal with them. This is how many been there. We screwed up. What time of the day since we set this? I got something I want to talk about that. Now that we're talking about that. The reason I voted no last month, and my suspicions were verified. Um, Chris, what do you think in our on a scale of one to ten? What do you think our ambulance service is with the equipment, the loading systems, uh, the computers? Are we in the lower 10 percent or we're in the lower 10 percent? No, we're probably in nine. In nine, okay. Our billing system is in the 4 percent, in the 40 percent. We're not even average. If we went up to the average of what everybody else is billing, I'm talking about the 50 percentile, it'd be 1.2 million more dollars be coming into our system. If we're in the 90 percentile, I don't know, two or three more million dollars. We, we, we've sat around now, we're going we're gonna to hire somebody to do our bookkeeping. The first thing they're going to do is they're going to say, my God, you're not even charging the average. And we could have done that right here in-house. That's why I voted no last month, and I think that uh, we've done a disservice to our county taxpayers. We've sat on our lawn. And we've had a good system. We've worked hard for a system. We ain't kept up with the pay on it, the charges on it. And the only way you're going to ever buy an ambulance without having to go to, to Terry and beg for one or the finance is to have your fees up there at least average, and we should be in the top 20, 30 percent. Just give me an example. I mean, you know, right down here at DeKalb County. Let me see right there. DeKalb County. Has a thousand and four dollars for a specialty care around the national. Ours is five hundred. Mm -hmm. No wonder we ain't got the money to buy a dog on animals. So anyway, I, that was my vent, and that's the one reason why I voted no last month, and I'd vote no on it again today. If we could rescind it, I'd do it. But maybe we've already inked the deal, so whatever. This company's going to look great. Because what they're going to do is they're going to raise their rates up to what they should be, and they're going to say, look what we've done for one day. No, they can't raise their rates. <laughs> we need to be doing it ourselves. They can't. They can't raise their rates because we, I, I did ask that after we had talked. I asked them, I said, you know, how are Young's going to come up with this increase? You know, we in, increase the rates to match what you want, and they said, no, the rates would stay at the way we've got well, them. I, I think this committee needs to say, let's get our rates up where they ought to be so we can get our income in to where we can afford to buy that ambulance we've been waiting on and waiting on. So, that's my spiel. Okay, Mike. Yeah, I'd just like to say I agree with Ron. I mean, I think, you know, if that was moved through so quickly and wasn't researched completely, I, I mean, I I wonder why the rest of the county commission wasn't informed of what the knowledge some of, of, of obviously Ron was able to research it and he found the answer. I wonder why that information wasn't passed on to the other 19 so we could make an informed decision. It's just a breakdown in communication. I feel like I agree that there was a way to rethink that. I just wish that information had been passed on. I don't know who all had that information, but but I agree. I mean, it looks like we may have stepped into something or maybe moved too quickly into it. Well, we weren't dealing with rates. Mm -hmm. We were dealing with invoices. They're saying we're losing money because we don't know how to code yeah, the system yeah, to, exactly. to maximize what we collect. That's why we voted to uh, change it to a, a different billing system because, of, first of all, because I was hesitant to vote for it. I was one of the ones that 
first questioned it was not wanting to do it. But after I got into it further and knew more about it, it's not about rates. R Ronnie's talking about rates of what we charge per service. Mm -hmm. it had nothing to do with whether we went to a different billing service or not. I mean, when I asked Miss Connie about it, well, she's the one that does her billing now. And since we have been working on switching over to this, I've been having to fill a bunch of spreadsheets out to send to A and B and to ESO for them to get all of our information. And I mean, like last year, and I mean, y'all have seen it. You know, last year we billed a little over $3 million. You know, and we collected, what was it, Teddy, one point, right at 1.9 million was what we collected. And the rest of it we had to write off because we had billed more than insurance would allow us to bill. They wouldn't pay it. And because when I asked Miss Connie, because she went through some of those rates with me, and I asked her about it, that was and, she said, and she said that if we build more, we just had to write it off, unless it was kind of like what you had asked about with the private insurance and stuff like that. Like your Medicare has that set rate that they're going to pay. Now it will still your private insurances; they're going to pay what you build. There you go. But now, like your Medicare, they're not going to pay full cares. rate, are they? Private no, 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 but they'll pay. Pay. They'll they'll pay. pay. I'd rather have a percentage of a hundred dollars and a percentage right. of ten dollars. Well, I understand. Like Medicare is going to pay a flat rate. Yeah. If you bill them three thousand dollars, or you bill them a thousand dollars, if they say the most we're going to pay is nine hundred, then that's what they're going to pay. So my blue cross. But let me tell you about this. We, we, they're probably all right, they're right here. Anderson County, they get thirteen hundred dollars for a run that we get five hundred dollars for. You say, well, they're not going to get the full thirteen. But they may get seventy percent. But they will out of me because I have private insurance and my deductible is thirty five hundred, so I'll have to pay the thirteen hundred. So I'll have so I want the cow county or I want somebody else to come get me then and save me seven hundred dollars. Well, yeah, but you don't. But you're still you're still busting the hide of the taxpayers when you make people like me that has private insurance that don't have government insurance. Medic One, Medic One, is that a private company? All right, Medic One, for example. Gets two dollars and seventy-five cents more per mile than we do. That's what they charge. All right. Uh, on a non-emergency call, they get two hundred and fifty dollars more than we do. On an ALS emergency, they get three hundred dollars more than we do. Now that's a private company. I know. I'm just saying, but it's not taxed money by the county, the people of Warren County or the county they're working out. I agree with, but if we don't have a private company mentality, we're going to go back to the taxpayer. Right, the property taxpayer to to fund it. If you've got to have a little more business mentality to try to get your prices up from the insurance companies whose buildings are but thirty you're gonna stories get it, tall. You're going to get it from me, a uh, uh, land taxpayer, first because I'm going to have that high deductible. You're going to get it from me first, and then you're going to pass along. We're not that far off average. Uh, Prices uh, on the mileage were 75 cents. Mm -hmm. On the non-emergency, the 426 were 20. We're 103 off on the ALS emergency. We're over 60, 68 bucks on the BLS. Uh, then we're 33 under on the uh, 429 BLS. And then the level two, now we're 227 dollars cheaper there. Mm -hmm. But what does that cost? What's that? The, the ALS, the level two, what is that call right there? What is that run? Okay. Um, on That's where the two big differences yep. is in the specialty care specialty. and the ALS. On, on an ALS level two, in order for you to code a, a run to where it fits an AS level 2. Okay. You have to do three or more advanced treatments. Treatments being So you're going to have to, yeah, it would have to be like, you know, your cardiac monitor that's with a becomes, 12 lead that's would be becomes, one. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you would have to give like two different drugs, <coughs> two different medications. Okay. You know, now that's, for it to Yeah, I got to ask you from the get-go, if we were in the top, lower 10% or the top 10% of service, we're in the 90 percentiles, what you say. Yeah, and you're I mean, saying we're in grade nine. that 50 percent should be where we. Well, that's where we're at. We're at. I, no, we're below 50 percent. We're at 40 percent. We're up and down both. I mean, it, yeah. all across her, we're up and down. If you average just these numbers you're seeing right here, differences on, on 8,000 calls is $1.2 million to be a 50 percent pay, and we're running a 90 percent. You're only going to get that money out of people that has private, because the insurance or the Medicare is only going to pay a certain I know that. And that's 50 percent of what we do. 
Yeah. I know, and I can't help so, so you're but all... we're leaving it on the table from the private insurance. They're laughing at us. But when they go down through here and they say, I don't know where can it charge you. I think you're going to get it from the taxpayer, and then you're going to get it from the private insurance. You're going to get the same from from people like me that, that will have to pay it, and then you'll get some from the insurance company. They're going to bust it down. The insurance company's going to bust it down to half what you charge. And these then other, I'm going to have to pay my deductible. These other 40 something counties, that you, 43 counties, you got information from. 30 of them aren't charging these high numbers just because they can charge them. They're getting more money for our, their runs than we are because a lot of those insurance companies are running on a percentage. And that's what I'm saying. I now you're right. It would bring in some more money. That's right. But it's still not all going to come from private insurance. It's going to come from taxpayers, too. Either way, it's going to come from taxpayers. Well, either way, we're going to have to raise the rates so we don't have to go back and beg for money to buy it all on ambulance well, that we should have bought a year ago. You may be correct about that. We are, we are, with the service that we provide, we are at least be uh, on average, at least. All I'm saying is we're leaving money on the table, and we need to do the county taxpayer service. To see that we're running that but what we passed didn't have anything to do with the rates, so it was just the billing system. Now on the on that deal, we we had two choices: you either hire somebody that can do a better job coding, or you let these people do it. Well, or raise your rates to where they should be, and you wouldn't have to hire those people. Your money would be coming in. If you don't code it right, you're still not going to get the money. They're coding it. They're coding it close enough. I'd say that we could buy our own. Well, this company says like they can bring us. They can bring us what it's, they're going to charge. Hey, if I'd seen what we were charging, I'd have probably said we'd brought more than that. We have a motion on now. <laughs> back in the, the original motion on changing the hours to eight to four thirty at the building office, or we had a motion, and we never did get a chance to vote. Oh, we didn't have a motion. No, we didn't have. A, <laughs> Carl, no. I didn't make that motion. Okay. I'm sorry. No. I didn't go. That would be a different thing. Okay. Do but that is where it started. Uh, yeah. Do, uh, do I have a motion on the floor to put the billing office the same hours as the rest of the county department offices? I don't see a problem then. I'll make that motion. <coughs> have a motion. I have a second. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Okay. <coughs> this is a make a motion to let them be the same up here, eight to four thirty, and then eight to five on Friday. Have their office the same as the rest of the county courthouse, administration building, all the rest of it. Eight to four thirty and, and eight to five on Friday. Correct. Yes, sir. <coughs> and Ronnie Lee made a motion. Since the rest of the county works 38 hours and gets paid for 40, I'll go ahead and second it. But as soon as we get this new building system up and running, I think we seriously need to look at how many people we need out there. And you said that'd be how many days? Uh, the lady from A and B, whenever we talked to her, she told us that it normally took about five or six months before everything got transitioned through. And it's going to start when? April the fifteenth is the projected date. April, May, June, July, August, October, May, October, September, October. And on that other, well, go ahead and finish this. Have a motion and a second on the floor. I'll agree and say aye. Aye. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Low, light times. There are none. That motion passes, so you can tell them that the same as the rest of the county. And, and what Ron had alluded to about us uh, passing that, if everything goes as we've been told, and Preston believes it will, 
that's going to save us $14,000 on our computer system, what we was using. And what they do, they're going to pay their own way because they're only going to get what they increase. But you're right. If we want to look at changing these rates, we can do that. But I have mixed emotions because I think the bulk of the money that you're going to increase is going to come from somebody like me that has private insurance. And you that has private insurance. Your Medicare and all that stuff is going to just stay the same. In effect, you know, if, if the you same read, people that pay the land taxes is going to pay the extra for them. You know, if you can read into your fine print on your automotive insurance, and they'll pay uh, ambulance bill besides your Blue Cross Blue Shield. You that for example, that's what I have. You, you, get, you get a certain amount. Yes, yes you, do. you do. In an accident. Exactly. So I'm just but saying. But what, if I, what if I just fell in my yard? And there wasn't no car involved. Well, do we just pick you up for D? <laughs> well, not D, you lie. But, but, uh, you see what I'm saying? Everything ain't a car. You got some business. I'm just saying that's another avenue. That's another avenue. That yeah. I see where you're coming from. Like, you know, the fee, you know, that's completely up to y'all as far as what it said at. I think it's worth uh, looking at. What's a bread repair bring in? Uh, Two inch. You can't give a breath of prayer. What? Well, you want okay. to play? I, I use it all the way. <laughs> Let's say dogwood. Hundred, hundred, hundred bucks. All right. Are you going to sell yours for thirty five dollars while everybody else is doing them for a hundred? No, I no, you're not. Them, right? There you go. It's the same principle. Same principle. That's all I'm saying. We need to look at, and that'll help. We won't have to come to Terry so much. Our fund balance will be up enough that we can afford that ambulance. Terry would love to see us have one a year. Yeah, I mean, it's it, Exactly. Well, we, need to generate it, we need to generate it in time. I, I, I see your point, and, and you do, but there's another way to look at it, too, I think. Don't you? I was like, I mean, I mean, there's another way to I, consider before we jack the price. I up. think that, I haven't weighed in here, but I think that this new billing system, give it some time <laughs> and see if it turns over like it's supposed to. But we can still look at sure. look at this. We need and to study ask them this. for advice. How come these other counties are charging these rates? But are they getting it? You can charge anything you want. If you if some of these insurance companies work on percentages, hmm. get your number up. You know you ain't going to get the, maybe thirteen hundred dollars for a run the national, but you charge thirteen, you might get eight. That's three hundred more than we're getting. I'm just I'm just using that for example. Do you know what the cap is on Medicare and stuff like that? I don't. Does, who does know the answer to that? Uh, somebody that does the billing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, these I, don't people, money. I don't mind us looking into it. You know, if the, I mean, Miss Connie can if, tell us uh, what percentage if, that they pay. If uh, Medicare is $600 and we're only charging five, yeah, we are going to be six. Well, when I asked her about, insurance the, insurance about the rate, she was no, the one that told me no, that that was it for the county. I pay $8,000 a year for as insurance. far as what we bill. And and when I asked her like about some of those because I specifically asked her about that ALS too. Uh, because I was under the it's impression 200, we're two hundred twenty seven dollars cheaper than average. Well I was under the long. impression that we did bill for that. And that's just what I thought for the last <coughs> few years. That if it become an ALS two we build extra. And um, um, oh, that is a correction. Because me and her had this conversation today. Good thing y'all brought this up. <clears throat> on the oh, on this specialty care, we have a a transport ventilator that we've got. And when I asked Miss Connie about the ALS two, because like I said, I was under the impression we built more for that, and she said no, we didn't, because. Medicare at the $500 base rate, and then time we build mileage, that puts us over what Medicare is going to pay anyway. So it's always been, it's been left at 500. And then I asked about the specialty care because of the transport ventilator that we have, and I said, well, what about it? And she said, yes, we charge 650 on it instead so that's of 500. Not, okay. So it's 650, and I forgot plum about that until you We're asked still me about 228 dollars yeah. And she said that we charge 650 on a ventilator patient. 
but she said that that was the only thing that we charged extra for because initially she said 500 across the board and like I said me and her has been working on the spreadsheets uh, since Thursday. I'll study. 75 cents a mile uh, from the average on our mileage would help us buy more tires. I'll study. I'll study these figures and whatnot but I still think the bulk of the money that you're going to increase is going to come from the people that's already paying most of the land taxes anyway. The people that are that own homes and stuff that have their own private insurance and they got high deductibles. No they got you go If you're home. paying for your own insurance, you got thirty five hundred to five thousand dollar deductible. Right. Average person does. Exactly right. So the bulk of that is going to come right from the guy that's paying the taxes anyway that we're looking to to get the money uh, for anyway. He's so the poor he's, Joe that's paying the way anyway. But would you rather pay a little bit once a year or just bang right there all of a sudden when you're down on your luck anyway? You know. That's kind another like, way to look at it. Kind of like with those prices, you know, we, yeah. we met when y'all met the last meeting, y'all would ask about them, so I got those and put in with that bid specs for tonight. <laughs> if you want me to, when we come back to the next meeting, I'll have you a list of our breakdown as far as what insurance we bill percentage-wise. I mean, if you want know, to <coughs> You know what percentage of our calls are Medicare calls? What percentage? That would help. And if you can find out what the cap is, that would help too. Because anytime you, if you're leaving Medicare cap on the table, that's one thing for sure. We need to be up there on that. Mm -hmm. We don't need to be cheaper than what Medicare cap is for I sure. Said, I, but I'm not when you go to private insurance and private individuals, then you got to consider where the money's going to be coming from. We, we need to learn more on how they pay. Exactly. And then, and because these other counties that are charging twice as much or more on some of our services aren't doing it because you, they can just write more money out. Do you still have self-employment insurance? Like self-employed insurance, do you have it through your work? Well, I have it through my work. Well, you know, though, when you go through self-employed, you've had, you've been there. You know how that is. Mm -hmm. You just keep getting worse insurance for higher rates every year. I just checked on some men and wife, fourteen thousand seven hundred dollars a year. One of you sick? If you, you know. Hey, my wife's is eight hundred and something dollars a month. What my be saying is, is, is you, know, you go you go down to Nashville and the biggest building down there. Is, Back when I was a kid, was life and casualty. It's the insurance company. They're laughing all the way to the bank. Well, uh, the problem I got with it is we're running a tax based entity here. We're paying for the ambulance service, the bulk of it out of taxes. When Jackie goes to somebody's house, he do not send them a bill for coming to their house. It's a tax based entity. When the road department does something in front of your house, they don't send you a bill because it's in front of your house. We're already taxing the county people to pay for the ambulance service to begin with. To me, when you raise the prices, you're just gouging them. I believe I've said before, 90 plus percent of our income on our ambulance system is Medicaid or insurance. So you don't base your rates on 4% of your customers, you base it on 96% of your customers. That's my personal opinion. And by the way, Levy don't come by my house, but I pay the county tax. Okay. <laughs> hey, go ahead and tell the safety committee our next week we have a beer transfer, permit transfer. Don't so the next day. It's like more can come in. Um, well, I didn't get this for Friday or Thursday. I went out and busy. Oh, yeah, because we'll probably have another baby this month. Uh, the baby finance and the budgets get started. And nobody's got them ready yet. So it's supposed to be last month anyway, wasn't it? Huh? It's supposed to be last month they're supposed to be ready, wasn't it? Yeah, but ain't nobody got them. Do we have any more business for safety committee? Preston, was there anything else we spoke to cover? I don't remember we talked about so much today. No, I don't think so. I forgot home about that other fee on there that we brought that up. It's been a long day. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, mine's just been 7 o'clock this morning. I got six more to go. You didn't start for lunch? If you're not, <laughs> <laughs> he's already done the first break. Just a footnote. If